This exhibit illuminates the different flaws and hardships that a woman can go through that are sometimes only seen behind closed doors. Some dogs need just a little extra help before they're ready for adoption. The Nebraska. Some people have known what they wanted to be ever since they were kids. Loved art ever since I was a child. For Courtney Porto, art is not only a profession, but our passion. I want to work, I want to come in the studio, I do art because I love it. The Connect Gallery saw this passion and knew they wanted to help show that passion to others. And we looked at her art carefully and we felt that perhaps she was a growing and emerging young artist we wanted to help. Porto's exhibit at the Connect Gallery is called I Heard She's a Feminist. Porto chose this title because many people think feminism is something bad when most don't even know what it means. People kind of get like scared of the term feminist, but I, I think that's a misunderstanding. I think it's just because they don't really know what people mean by feminist. This exhibit illuminates the different flaws and hardships that a woman can go through that are sometimes only seen behind closed doors. It's about things that women can relate to that I would like to think most women have experienced at some point or another um, in different ways. And so it's just communicating experiences and, and thoughts as a woman. Porto knows that she could receive mixed feelings, but to her, it's about more than just reviews. And it's, no, it's about the message. It's a really important message that I'm trying to get out there. Or, why are your pieces depressing? It's like, well, because everyone experiences sad times. Porto has turned these sad times into something positive. For Omaha News, I'm Emily Masters. Many people have something they like to drink on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Jameson's. Sometimes a special beer they drink. Murphy Stout. Well, it started off originally as a, a festival day and as a religious holiday, a religious feast day. In the early 1600s, it became an official feast day. And since it was during Lent, the church made it a day of relief from their strict Lent practices. So you're allowed to drink, you're allowed to eat meat if you want to, um, you're allowed to, to celebrate. To this day, Ireland celebrates St. Patrick's Day as a Christian holiday. It is also seen as a time to be spent with family and celebrate their nation, which means a big family meal. More like maybe along the lines of our Thanksgiving, you know, a big Sunday roast sort of thing. Lots of extended family might come into a particular, uh, you know, grandma's house or something to, to celebrate. Um, many families will also eat salmon because March 17th marks the opening of salmon season in Ireland. Though America may not celebrate the same way as Ireland, there are still many great memories to be had. So the Irish connection, you know, very original. And one of us, we drew straws, one of us had to stay sober, and the rest of us, and each year we would try to beat the record that we had set the year before, trying to get to as many Irish bars as we could. And many people have traditions of their own. I like having salmon. I, I always plan to eat a, a nice salmon dinner on St. Patrick's Day. This goes to show that even if you don't drink, you can still celebrate St. Patrick's Day in a way that commemorates Irish culture. For Omaha News, I'm Emily Masters. Dogs have endless personas. So endearing, or they're so smart, or they're, um, they're so lovable, or they're so happy. Some dogs need more patience than others. Just need a little polishing and a little edge smoothing and they will shine. Some dogs need just a little extra help before they're ready for adoption. The Nebraska Humane Society received a large number of doodles or poodle mixes. These dogs may be older, but they don't have the same life experience that other dogs their same age have. So anything new is scary to them. And so um, they aren't the typical two-year-old dog that you would think an adult dog would have some life skills, know how to hop up on a couch, know how to hop into a car, probably potty trained. The Diamond Dogs program is where dogs that need a little extra work are helped. This is how the Doodles got the help they needed to become adoptable. It's just like all of our Diamond Dogs, we're not looking for someone who wants the perfect 
companion. You know, these dogs are going to take a little bit of work and we're looking for people who are ready to kind of take on that commitment. Owning a dog can sometimes be a challenge, but it is also a privilege. I think that pets really enhance a community. I think that pet ownership is, is um, kind of makes life worthwhile. For the Omaha News, I'm Emily Masters. The Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo is launching its contest to name its three penguin chicks. The contest lasts until April 8th and the three winning names will be announced April 15th online. The penguins are born between 11th and 15th of December. Their gender is unknown so both male and female names are encouraged. Visit Facebook.com slash Omaha Zoo to participate. To stay in shape, one can exercise at a gym, but as mobile technology has advanced, there is now a variety of health apps and devices one can use to exercise in the comfort of their own home. Kenneth Bella reports on what these apps and devices mean to gym attendants and how one UNO student has benefited from using them. One of the most important Online shopping has changed the economy of buying textbooks for college students, providing alternatives to the established university bookstores. Dylan Senf explains what to consider when comparing prices online to the convenience of on-campus bookstores. Each semester, college students...